They gonna let me for my ambition. Travis Scott, breaking news, says that Utopia is done. The Utopia album is done. It just needs to be mastered. And he played supposedly the entire album for the Houston Astros today in their dugout prior to the game, behind the scenes, you know. I texted Jeremy Pena. He so, still hasn't responded. Damn, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say, what Jeremy say? Bro? Jeremy Pena has not responded to my text yet. I need to know at least if this album is worth the wait and anticipation, if it sounds at least good. You know, Jeremy Pena, Astros player, we know him, our friend. He's been on the podcast. Hopefully he responds. He might not. Who knows? I don't hold it against him. He's a very busy gentleman. You don't have to respond to me. Mm -hmm. I'm the least of your worries. I just want you to be healthy, keep going, and keep striving. But we did have a promise. When that Utopia reaction happens, we're going to lock down with Jeremy, fly out to Houston or Houston if we have to, or wherever he might be that weekend or et cetera, because the album probably is going to come out on a weekend. He might have a game. Like maybe the game's nearby. Hopefully. That way niggas going to fly out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some shit in New York or something. That'd be dope. But... When that happens, we shall see. Nonetheless, uh, let's play the clip of Travis Scott saying this because I'm not just talking out of my ass over here, guys. We we have factual evidence right here to support this. Yo. Fresh from Utopia. You know what I mean? Live from Utopia. It's on the way now, Mark. Hmm? Hold up. What's up, yeah? Had to come here, play the Utopia, put the boys down in the locker room. Had to get them right for the game. Now we on. Do we do best, Mark? Finish the master, Mark. Now we do, Mark, from the clubhouse to the stools. Welcome to Space City. Man, you know. You know what I'm saying? There we have them. Just needs to be finished. The masters. The masters needs to be finished. Just needs to be mastered. The album is done. I can't wait. You know, is this going to be is this going to be Travis Scott's best album? Is this going to be bigger than Astro World? He has a lot to live up to. For those who don't remember, and the whole world did at the time especially, Travis Scott fans died at Astro World Festival, and people started blaming Travis Scott. He went through a lot of scrutiny. He basically was canceled. Mm -hmm. This is his post Astro World Festival tragedy and post Astro World successful smash album album. This is after all that the follow up. There's a lot of anticipation. Utopia though, this should be more calm. I know, right? It's called Utopia. So what are we gonna get with that? Right? We haven't gotten from the singles that he did drop. Was that like singles that were on gonna be on Utopia? I don't think necessarily any. No, because because it's been. It's just been features. It's been like features. He just dropped like those songs that um happened literally uh the same weekend that that Astro World Festival happened. Remember he dropped a song that had like J Cole kind of on it. I forgot what that shit was called. Dystopia, dystopia, something like that. Or it was supposed to be on an album mixtape called Dystopia. Whatever the case may be, I don't think we have gotten an actual single single. I don't think he's gonna pull one of those moves. I think we're gonna get fresh new music. It's probably gonna be all a bunch of new music, new songs. This weekend we did get new Travis Scott. Chase B, his DJ, was, which also was in the dugout right there, dropped a new single with Travis Scott, Don Tolliver, Quavo, and Ty Dolla Sign. I think it's a pretty good record. Travis Scott, though, farted on that shit. He just was in and out. He just came in and out. I don't know what the hell. He farted. You know, it was like, Pfft. I'm like, what the fuck? Okay, God bless. But maybe he's saving it, like I said in the reaction, for Utopia. Probably saving all the shit for the Utopia. Because at this point, bro, if you're going to hop on a record and just pass some gas, we're better without it. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's your DJ. You know, Chase B probably got some heat, unreleased Travis Scott, but maybe he's trying to hold it on to as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, most definitely. Because if you hear the song, Don Tolliver just owned the song. Floating. Like, he, Don Tolliver's on some different shit. Floating. It's like, he's like a human boat. Like, the guy just floats everywhere he goes. He's a human life raft. He does not, you can't pop him. Mm. He's not going to fucking drown anywhere. He's un untouchable. Mm. So, you know... Utopia, comment down below. What do you guys think? Travis Scott's making the rounds. The rollout seems to be starting organically. Again, tied to Houston, going to the Houston Astros dugout, playing them the album. They get the exclusive first digs. You know, they, they're reigning champions. They just won. You know, Astros, Astro World, Astros is in their name. You know, everything is tied into that. What are we going to get? You know, is it, is it going to be 
more touches added, more features added. Do you think that he should add people to the to the album, or should it just be pure Travis Scott because of what's happened in the past, et cetera? Should it be like a redemption mm. album, or should nah, it be like go be, for the hits? There should be some features. You think he should go for the hits yeah. with like major features and everything? Just like Astro World. You think so? Yeah. I, man. 100%. It's think, true. Think about it. I, I, it could happen. I feel like it could be a mix of both. Nev- we've never gotten a project of just him. Yeah. And the projects that we have gotten with other people, gas. His first album, good. Yeah, yeah. Astro World, fire. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Cact- Birds in the, a Trap Sing McKnight. C- Cactus Jack shit. Yeah. Fire. Yeah, yeah. That's that's when Don Tolliver just, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His big breakthrough. The only bad one, which kind of aged a bit better. Was a Quavo Honcho, the the one with Quavo, but that one is like uh, sometimes I erase it. it was that never a project? Happened. Yeah, it was a project between Quavo and Travis Scott. <laughs> when? Exactly. <laughs> Fuck that shit, but it really happened. <laughs> I think it was Honcho Quavo, some shit like that. Honcho Honcho, oh, Honcho you're Jack, right. some shit like some that. Some shit like that. Very Horrible. bad, in my opinion. But that's because nah, God, God bless, God bless. Yeah. But there we have it, guys. Let us know in the comments. What do you guys think? What is your anticipation? I know Travis Scott's I'm a hyped. huge I'm fan hyped. base. We love you guys. We're gonna have try to we're gonna try to do some major things for that reaction. Like I said, hopefully get Jeremy Pena involved. They gonna love me for my ambition. Thanks for watching a clip from our podcast. If you want to watch the full podcast, click right here. If you want to check out one of our reactions, the latest ones, click right here as well. Appreciate you. Subscribe, smash that like button, leave a comment, and Show us how much you hate us. <laughs>